You're an incredible parent who wants the very, very best for their child, or you probably wouldn't be watching this video, am I right? Let me share with you something today that will start improving your world so much because it will improve your child's world, and that's what you're interested in. Let me show you this really cool thing that you can start right now, and the sooner you start it, the better it will become. Be better tomorrow because of what you do today. So my name is Brent. I'm the Fallible Man. I make content generally for men, in this case, specifically for you dads out there. But mom, you are welcome to hang out. In this series, we've introduced the idea of money to your kids. We've talked about finances and, and introduced the topic in general. Then I show you a really neat way to help cultivate their mindset about money and what they can do with it other than blowing all their money on a bunch of choice like every kid likes to do. We even talked about starting a business with your kid and the amazing advantages that gives your kid, whether it's a lemonade stand or a t-shirt business, as I'm like my kids have, where they make t-shirt designs. Big or small, having a business will help cultivate their brain and teach them things that they're not going to learn in school. In this episode, we're going to talk about one thing you can do as a parent to help them because whether you're giving them an allowance or they've got money coming in from that job or from their aunts, uncles, or whoever is sending your kid money, what are they supposed to do with it? Well, I'm going to show you how to fix that. And we're going to have a conversation about custodial accounts today. If you don't know what a custodial account is and you haven't ever heard of it, well, that's okay. We're going to introduce it and then we're going to talk about how easy it is for you to get it started. So let me show you what a custodial account is. Now, that's a really quick high level overview and I love whiteboard videos, so I hope you like that bit. But now that you know what a custodial account is, the simple answer is, it's an account that you control until your kids are of age to take control of it. But like the custodial accounts I have for my children, my children have control. They tell me what they wanna do, we talk about their decisions, and then we make choices together. It's an ongoing conversation about money and you know I'm a fan of that. Now, you need to find a host for that, right? I use Fidelity. Some people use Charles Schwab, and I'm sure several of the other big houses have them. I just know those two do for sure. But you're not limited. Look around and see who offers, offers custodial investment accounts to get started. Before we go too much farther, I wanna ask you guys a question. Do you have some kind of investment account yourself, personally, other than your business 401k, if your company actually offers you a 401k, do you contribute to that? Do you have some kind of investment account set up for you? Because, spoiler, you're going to need that actually for the next steps anyways, but we'll get back to that. So comment down below. I want to know, are you saving money for you currently? I think you should. So now that you know what a custodial account is and that you just need to find someone who has it, which is not difficult. And now that you're thinking about investing yourself, you need to think about investing with your kids. As we talked about earlier in this series, now I'm going to show you exactly what you need guys. So we're going to go over here and I'm going to show you precisely the things you need to set up a custodial account. And then I'll walk you through it. First off, you need a bank account. Spoiler, you can't walk into a Fidelity office. Well, I don't live in a place where a Fidelity office is, so maybe you can, but for now, you need a bank account where you can actually transfer money to and from the account you're setting up for your child. You need an account at Fidelity or Schwab or whoever you found to host your kid's custodial account. You're gonna need your child's social security number, birthday, etc. So dad's if, if you're like me and you're bad at remembering, I, I, I know my kid's birthday. Social security number, I have to ask my wife. She has that information put away. 
So make sure you have it. It will save you time on the setup because once you start, it's a pain to start and start over. You're gonna need seed money. Now, this is where some parents get fuzzy. My kids' seed money came out of their piggy banks. And then, courtesy of our lovely government sending my children money through the stimulus packages. So guess what? That all went into their code of studio accounts. Thanks, Uncle Sam. But you're gonna need a little bit of seed money to get them started. So however you wanna do that, you're their parent, make the choice. And of course, you're gonna need an internet connection. Not too worried about that because, well, you're watching this, so you probably have some kind of internet connection. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at how to set this up because guys, it is stupidly easy. You're gonna love it. You ready? So you're gonna go over to Fidelity and set up an account, right? Now, once you have a Fidelity account, you're gonna log in and it looks something like this, okay? I'm not gonna show you how much I have. Just once you set it up, this is how it goes, guys. So I'm at Fidelity, log into your new account. You're gonna click open an account. And then you're gonna scroll down here to see all accounts because it's none of these existing buttons you're looking at. So we're gonna hit see all accounts. We're gonna scroll way down here to managed accounts. Oh, sorry, I was wrong. Savings investing for a child. So there's a couple different kinds of accounts. I don't recommend this one necessarily. But this is what I recommend, okay? It's a custodial account for kids. So you're going to click on open an account online. And then, oops, I'm gonna have to blank that out. You're gonna put in your child's names, name. You're gonna get their social security number, their birth date, whether they're a citizen or not, what state you live in. That's really how that comes down. Have the legal residence will be your residence because you already have an account. That's why you need an account because you gotta have one set up. Once you hit next, I can't jump through without showing you. Uh, once you fill in that basic information, guys, the rest of the setup is very easy. You're gonna have to enter your bank account and your route. Once you enter that information, guys, it's gonna be really easy. You're gonna go through and set up your bank account and the routing number. So sorry, I missed that on the list. You're gonna need that too. Once you have your account set up, guys, it's all downhill from there. It's super easy. You can ask relatives to contribute, like, you know, mamma and granddad or uncles and aunts, you know, all those annoying people who's in cart now. They're wonderful people and I hope you have great family guys, but you can ask them to contribute. In fact, a lot of your relatives will think it's really, really cool that you are trying to set up for your child's future. And if you don't know something about investing, I do recommend talking to a financial advisor about what's best. There are all kinds of funky things. And if you don't know what they mean, if you don't know what index funds are, ETFs, index fund, did I say that? Mutual funds different stocks. Guys, don't don't play with, around with it. It is easy to lose money if you don't know what you're doing. But guys, talk to a financial investor, figure out a good strategy and start having your kids. My kids have to save at least 30% of what they make on every sale on their shop, guys. So route some of that money over there, start building the future, invest it in something that will actually pay them. Please, please, please. Do not stick it in a bank account. A savings account is a dead end and you will actually lose money and value. Whereas put in here, your kids aren't gonna spend it, but at least they're making money, like actual money. The average exchange return on the stock exchange is between seven to 10%. Put it in a healthy index fund and you're almost guaranteed at least 10% gains a year. Guys, I hope this video was super helpful for you and cleared to find some of that up. Maybe you didn't know you could do that, but it's an amazing thing you can do for your kids to set their future up right. If you got something out of it, be sure and click that like button. It helps me out with the YouTube, YouTube algorithm, if I can ever say that right. And subscribe for more videos like this. If you missed the early part of the series, guys, we're gonna put some videos right up here on this side from the beginning of this series. And I invite you to check those out as well. Thanks for taking a little time with me. Be better tomorrow because of what you do today, and I'll see you next time.